Hi guys, what's up? It's me, it's Jimmy again. So GTX 980 970 has already announced and then are you going to buy a GTX 980 or 970? First check out my one or two months old video about GTX 980 and 970. What I have told her, it all become true basically. I've told you what the hell I was telling is true basically. It's not a fact what the hell I was telling you. So my main point is to, to make about the price. GTX 980 is going to cost you around 532. Sorry, it's GTX 980 is going to cost you around at 550 US dollar, and the GTX 970 is going to cost you around at 300 to 320 dollar. Basically, which car should you buy and what should you buy? GTX 970 is the king. Who the hell need a GTX 980 when there is a solid GTX 970 a solid price? For only 300 dollar. If you don't know GTX 970 give you better performance than the R, uh, R AMD R9 290 at basically uh, the R9 290 cost you at 400 US dollar to 450 US dollar so you can get get a much better performance at 300 US dollar at GTX 970 from Nvidia G4 and plus it offers you 5% better performance over the R9 290 are you kidding with me Firstly, I can save around 100 to 150 US dollar plus I will get extra 5% performance. Are you kidding me? Not only that, GTX 970 offer 5%. I'm again saying around 5% better performance, 4 to 5% better for performance than the GTX 780. Yes, GTX 780. Yes, the new GTX 970 is offering you better performance than GTX 980 and R9 290 and just 300 US dollar are you kidding at me I'm all into it but if you really wanna go the higher and you can go with the GTX 980 which perform give which give you a better performance around 20% basically over R9 and then around 18% over the around 18 to 20% same over the GTX 780 Basically, yeah, you can go with it if you really want to play the 4K gaming. I will say go with GTX 980. But who the hell have the 4K monitor at this point? Are you playing video games at 4K? There's a new game coming to be on this video, it's going to rock at 4K Sunrise of Rome. But are you going to really play? No, you are only going to play full HD or the whatever the resolution called w, uh, WVG or whatever it is called. Basically, at uh, at 1400p basically are you going to play at that for at 40 under 40p no if basically the gtx 970 can handle every game even crashes 3 at 1080p and then for 1440p no problem at all why the hell you need to waste money to be honest with you basically i i still always buy a high-end card do not buy a high-end card it does not offer any extra performance please 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 for example, for, for I give you an example. I give you. I try to make you understand. GTX 970 costs you around 300 dollars, nearly half price of GTX 980. Okay, you buy GTX 970 now. After two years, buy another card. Basically, after two years, what you will have GTX. Uh, uh, what are it called? GTX 170. Sorry, 1070. Yeah, it will be called GTX 1170 because after two generation. Yeah, I don't know what the model number is. Just buy a same GTX 970 after uh, after I mean just buy the GTX 970 after uh, the the new second or no, uh, after the two generation pass away the new whatever it will call GTX 1170 whatever it will call it will give you two times better performance than the current gtx 980 i'm not telling you a lie just calculate the math so basically if you buy a middle end card and then and then after two years you buy the again the middle end card the the new middle end card i mean like the gtx 970 will give you double performance of the high end card uh, two years back basically it means the people who will buy gtx 970 now it will it will perform much better than the two years old GTX 680. Basically, it the, it will perform two times better than the GTX 680. So it means basically by buying a two car plus you can sell your old car at eBay. So it have a lot of saving. Basically, it means you buy a middle end card right now and save half of the money. 
which you are going to spend the full uh, the higher end card like GTA 900 after two years use the same amount of money and then again buy the middle end card and then sell the older card plus you will have a nearly uh, double the performance of your two years old high end card Bas basically a mass you will say what the hell I'm talking I'm just bladdering you can understand because you uh, you people just care about frame rate you just people want to show your bloody rig about high end card who the hell can every year there's a new card like everybody want to buy a new bloody iPhone 6 Basically, which is which is the same technology from 2012. I love my window phone. Okay, I'm a window friend, but who the hell can have a bloody iPhone? iPhone plus six. My my phone have six in second. It rock. To be honest with you, I hate fanboyism. Yeah, I hear. Uh, yes, I indeed. I'm a fanboy. I'm a fanboy of Acer. I'm a fanboy of Lenovo. I'm a fanboy of Microsoft. I hate Windows 8 and 8.1, the desktop. Yes, but that does not mean I should just go with the higher. And why the hell? If you are thinking to buy a GTX 980, you are really stupid. Do not buy. Spend the money at i7 520k or just buy a SSD, you dumb ass people. I know you are not going to listen. Go ahead. To be honest with you, the sweet spot, the, the sweet spot is just buy GTX 970 plus for the guy who do content creation who do video editing use it a 4 gig of ram on it yes indeed yes for video editing for i mean for the video but for whenever we do we do a uh, 1080p video editing on our computer basically it need a ram to pull the data in so if a video card a 4 gig of buffer on it is gonna render even a 4k video in a slice here yeah. GTX 970 is not only for the game, it is gonna rock even at video editing and plus you can play the you can play a lot of games 4k games uh, and you can play a lot of current gen game at 4k around at 28 to 35 pre frame yes you can even do 4k gaming on it you cannot have 60 frame but you can have around 30 which is bare which is reasonable some console games are having 30 frame per second nobody complain on, the, on, on, on it but if a same game has 30 frame on frame per second on computer you are going to stream you are going to do all that blah 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 you are gonna cry whatever who the hell can a game is solidly playable 30 frame per second a lot of you guys just go out and then check your eyes and then ask the doctor can my eyes see about 30 frame per second anything better the doctor said no you cannot a genuine a normal human eyes can see 30 frame per second if you are have a quite strong eyes you can see 60 frame per second who the hell care about it? i want my pair gaming i want smooth performance there are a lot of bloodiest game on console which run at 30 frames per second it's not smooth as butter if you are really into 4k game do not go to gtx 980 which will offer you around 40 frames per second on 4k just go with this i know gtx 970 can can play able it will run at 25 frames to 30 frames per second the upcoming 4k game spun rise of rum and uh, what gta 5 is coming yeah i know gta 5 will offer you only around 20 frames per second at 4k at gtx 970 but it's playable to be honest with you my to be honest with there's a bug in window window 8 and window 8.1 and the window 7 you cannot i mean you cannot scale the game for example i have a 4k monitor i run the game at 1080p and the scale scale up to 4k like you're running a movie at 1080p and scale up to 4k which will look extra amazingly basically it should look much sharper you cannot do that on a 4k monitor with a window operating system and if you try to scale up there will be a left right bottom there will be a small screen which you can play the same game at 1080p it will not scale to 4k yes there's a bug you cannot scale the 1080p game to 4k like for example currently right if we are we can play even the old games we can play the vga resolution game and scale up to the 1080p i hope you understand 1080p screen resolution but you cannot do it with the 4k resolution you cannot play 1080p 720p game and scale up to 4k you cannot do that you have to play net of native 4k or you couldn't play it so basically gtx 970 is solid do you know there was a card one thousand dollar card called gtx titan would you believe me or not gtx titan and G gtx 970 they are at the same performance not a single percent up or down would you believe me the people who spend their one thousand dollar gtx titan when that was it was a gtx titan, uh, titan came around uh around i think more than one, one and a half year ago okay
$1,000 spend on a card which now I can get a $300 Jimmy are you kidding with me indeed I'm not I couldn't say anything I think I should really close this video that's all for today so just try to check out the reviews on every uh, technological website on it a lot of you ask me what the hell I'm not writing a review at jimmyageek.com basically when i will buy that card when i will make my system and then i will just write a review on it even i will do a video hand on review on it basically a lot of you guys think review means something you have to hold basically review means is, is your opinion do you have that thing or not it's your opinion you have to give your opinion on it so most of you guys even don't know what that review mean <laughs> you basically think review mean you have to hold a gadget in your hand and then you have to review whatever the hell so subscribe to my channel and check out my jimmyageek.com if you hate me just hate me if you like it just like me if you share this video it's good for you if you do not share video it is good for you who the hell cares basically i'm looking cool today and my new shirt you see it's quite good shirt let me show you wow to be honest with you this is a geek shirt because i'm jimmy a geek bye bye